most famous for a syphilis outbreak. And <laughs> thank you, that was the main punchline. <laughs> and and every other high school in the area knew about it. And every time we went to compete against the other high schools, they would come up to us and they they kind of be nervous. They'd be like, "Do you all have syphilis?" <laughs> And it would be so insulting because we actually had chlamydia. <laughs> all those people that I went to high school with, um, they're all like parents now. And just for context, I graduated from high school in 2014. Uh, <laughs> I'm 21 years old. They're all parents. They're all talking about it on Facebook all the time. They're always asking for advice. They're like, help me change my kid's diaper. Or does anyone know how I could possibly be better at breastfeeding? And I'm like, no bitch. <laughs> The only people who have ever stuck on my kitties are other grown-ups, like God intended. <laughs> you know? I grew up in the Deep South. It sucked for a lot of reasons, uh, but among them was the fact that I am Jewish. <laughs> right? <No. laughs> it sucks. Like, I have all my friends come up to me and be like, Sarah, you're, you are such a cool and nice person. I am so sorry that you're gonna have to burn in hell for eternity. That is just, <laughs> that is just too bad. I will be pouring one out for you with Jesus, all right? <laughs> but I guess like in order to try and save me from that, they'd always try and you know stealth convert me. You know, they like come to this thing at like my church. And luckily, I could never make it because it conflicted with my synagogue's mandatory blood sacrifice ritual. So <laughs> I would like to clarify that's a joke. Uh, there are people I went to high school with who, upon hearing that, would be running to the presses and being like, we finally exposed the Jews. <laughs> and then I'd be in really big trouble with the cabal. <laughs> really big trouble. Um, I am in comedy because I have low self-esteem and I need attention. And I love getting affirmation every 15 seconds. <laughs> Just like that, exactly. Um, and I was thinking of the day that I should really stop aiming for self-love and really go for something more realistic, like self-friends with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just so appropriate because I don't care about my emotional well-being. I'm constantly fucking myself over. <laughs> I also love astrology because I have a wide variety of personality flaws and I love being able to blame it on some vague, like, outside cosmic force instead of taking any personal responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> If my professor comes up to me and he's like, your paper is three weeks late, I'm just like, oh, I'm a Gemini moon, so. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm in college. Um, I go to Wellesley College. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hopefully I'll get that degree. <laughs> um, and so we have a lot of like famous alums, sort of, and we have this one really famous alum in politics that you may have heard of. Um, her name is Jana Ryan, her husband is Paul Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they like always want you to like network and meet all these people and they have all these events that you can come to to meet alums and try and sort of you know get bored in the world and hopefully have a job when you graduate. So I've always kind of hoped that I would run into Jana Ryan at a networking event so I can ask her how she fucks someone who's that flaccid. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, I remember back like when I was in high school, I'd be sitting around with a group of dudes because high school, and I had to interact with them back then, and, <laughs> and they'd like be like, oh yeah, da -da -da, I masturbate, whatever, and I'd be like, hey, yeah, me too, and they'd be like, ew, ew, that's so gross, and I'm like, I wish I had a dollar for every single one of those guys from high school, because then maybe I could afford a vibrator that could actually make me come. <laughs> I play rugby, and that surprises like, a ton of people because I kind of look like a cross between like a cabbage patch kid and a sex doll. Um, when, I, when I joined the rugby team at my school, my, my mom was really upset. She's like, have you like, looked in the mirror? You're like five feet tall. You're very fragile. And you're like, why would you do this? Um, why can't you do yoga like a normal person? And I was like, I want to get in shape. And I was like, well, there's other things. And I was like, I don't think you understand that rugby is such a dangerous sport that if I don't like do my best to get in shape, I'll quite literally die. <laughs> That's how much I need exercise. I need that motivation to get off the couch. Like you can work out for 15 minutes or you can face the gaping mob of oblivion. <laughs> I got here a few days ago and I'm not happy about it. Because every time I talk to my friends, they're like, oh, you know, my period's not that bad. I can deal with it with like 
four or five pads during the week, and I'm like, that's really cute because Quentin Tarantino personally directs my vagina. <laughs> 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 